ahead. Go ahead. Jesus Christ. Like you trying to, it look like you trying to, I don't know where you trying to go. Just to push it, I don't know where you trying to go. What's up, Miss Woolery? How are you? We you know where are these people trying to go, child. Maybe up in there. Trying to race, 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 race. <sighs> Jesus. How y'all doing today, guys? Ginger lemon and turmeric per usual. How y'all feeling today? Just checking out my peeps. Guys, if you didn't get a chance to watch our um, interview yesterday, a chance to do so when you get a chance you guys will get a more explanation um, about the feeding of the Connor original hospital through that video so you can understand the process and stuff like that because I had that lady come on here for y'all so y'all can know it's very important that she tell y'all the journey and what she's been doing all right so if you didn't see that video when you get a chance just check it out or whatever so how y'all doing? How, what y'all up to, to, to? How's your day? It's not Monday, but it feels like Monday, doesn't it? Feels like Monday. I want to tell all my supporters, everybody who is supporting already this mission, we thank you for your support thus far. You know, so me tap it. Let me tell something. Yes, let me know. Me kinda yes, let me know. Is that real, Jenna? Jenna? When I start selling my things, you know, when I say sell, I don't talk about products, I say. When I start selling, this is a storyline here. To feed people, them. Everybody in the mumma, I tell about this. When I talk about social media, people like Uno alone. I talk about people in the road, different places. Everybody in the mumma, I tell about it. Yeah. But they tell we do nothing, we want to do right. In this, we are doing nothing. We want to feel we right. Anyways, chatters, what's up, Miss Scott? I want to ask you something. When you think Ivani still a scam people? <laughs> when you think Ivani still a scam people after everything that Ivani go through? Come and say, look like you're not changing for social media allegedly. But what I want to know most of all, beyond the scamming, because any man who wants to scam and get catch up with them business that. But, ain't Ivan the Corn America to pay, they try to get papers and stuff like that? How is it that you're the America? You're not legal yet. You're not have certain things set up a certain way yet. And how you in a so much argument? I don't understand something. I kind of feel a way now. I like Ivan, you know, but I kind of feel a way like, say, it looked to me like Ivan, you one of them people they walk. It looked like, say, how would I put it now? You know, like she, you know? Ah. You know, I said too much bad about Vani, you know. Everybody I try to hustle in way, but it looked to me like Vani, you know, when we. We be loud. You see, you come to America, brother, and you try to get a little papers. You feel no, you be loud and chill out for the negative energy. Since Ivan is a foreigner, you are going say Ivan is not. Ivan is a load of our thing. I mean, Ivan is a load of your own thing, general. I see them argue with everybody in the mumma. And I say Ivan is a bull and a business. When you move from one man and gone to the next man, you say, I have another man, no, I'm going to my favorite chat with the man. I say, Jesus Christ, what I could never tell the whole world, no business. What I could never tell the whole world, what I want to do with man and then something there. Why people know about no man and man, Tory and sex and all. I don't understand this something. Now. I don't understand this something. Can I come to America? Karen, how are you? If me come America, I me I try get me papers. Me not see how me don't load up myself like that. Me don't humble myself. Me not load up myself. Me I go humble myself. 
Remember that. Remember me tell you, you know, you're not going to load up yourself because you're not a papers yet. I mean, I've only have a platform and I know. Blah, 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 blah. But it seems like so ever since she did America, yeah, a peer argument, Ivani, Ivani, any people them. Ivani and nobody cannot get along. I'm sorry, Ivani, we cannot blame the whole world and not blame you too. Because one of the reasons why you can't get along is you're scamming ways. That nobody not trust you. And, and, and it's like the whole of them turn against one another in a matter of no time. People will look on social media. The whole of them seem to be cool at first, different people. But they're on the mix up side over there, some TikTok and stuff. And it seemed like they were my get on. But you know, said so none of them, it would have been hypocrite against one another. You know, she so said it would have been hypocrite against one another. Like, some of them there, but you're sitting to get, get the roses and, and the lions and all these things and then join up and play a game to get this lion, that sky, whatever the tour is over there, so where they get on TikTok. And when they turn around in our reality, when they check the meds, they don't like one another, brother. But my question is, if I like you, what me do not cloud chase after you? If I don't like you, what me do not use up to make money for? Me sorry, but I don't like that. If I don't like your brother, I don't like you. I don't go in your face. They try to make a money after you. I don't try no game and go on, kissy kissy, laughy laughy like say, me and you good like that. So I don't me, me understand what a woman social media you know, me don't understand what this fake energy on social media. Well, we could just join up, you know, because you know we can't make money for the people them. As I'm telling you, you say anytime money I make fire, watch and see the people them want to support. Don't even like you know, as supporters. All them come for after a while is them them stars, them them come after a while, all them come for a money, cash up, whatever, and all of a sudden the supporters, you're not even a consideration. They just know say you don't go pay to your pocket and they know say you don't stay so so when they come on go pay them bills. When you're top from entertain and they go the fat and the fool in the show them I do, then you don't know have to cry about it. Cause when we look on social media now, people deliberately use social media as the only way to deal with your thing. Why people don't have jobs? Why you don't have a job? And if me they use social media as my only job, better best believe say me supposed to accompany and entertain and all true, right true. Me supposed to have big shows. Too early to report the live. Anyways, but if you if 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 all we do is make money on social media, no. After a while, the people them with very people them are support you. After a while, you have a business. But you know, sometimes people just do what they do with their money and post their video and gone. They're not busy about you like that. I don't mean nothing to them. And that's what I'm saying. Like there's a balance. There's a balance with all we deal with people. People come out there, there are grown people, grown women, grown men follow you. Kids, you know, all type of people follow you. And when you come out here, everything is about money. You're not even getting no highlights as a support. You're not even getting no tanks. You're not getting no nothing. You're just, you're just, you're just dead as well. It's big and... Just, 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 just take it and go on, brother. Like, when you just drive, you're going to eat it. You're going to eat it. Sure. So... Right now, I don't even understand the whole of them who are the America and they look papers and want to have papers. What make you load on social media? And my thing is this. You know, Vani, Vani, you're smart, but you're not that smart. You're smart, you know. Because you can't you can go scam people real easy out of their money on social media or, or pages. You're smart. Okay. But you're not that smart. Because if you're not that smart, you just shut your mouth. I know so when you deal with immigration and you deal with do deal with America and you're a foreigner, you're not you're an immigrant. You don't belong here. This is how they view us. We don't belong here. They don't want to give you a chance like that. That's why someone have to go through hell and pour the house or we have to go through hell and pour the house to get people to America. So it's not because America wants you. I know what they want you. So when you think about it, something you come up America, if you be yourself, you're a little bit man. Humble yourself and just, you know. Go and hold the fort and till the papers come through or at least the work document or something you can make a move on that. You see me? We have to know if we care with self brother. Sometimes, sometimes someone they are alright. Someone wanna meet a man or a woman. And you come up here. And you see certain things that certain way and not necessarily be how you want in general. But when you look you come up and you come and load up the man or the woman who will help you. Brother! The person where they help you might not be a perfect party, you know. But I them I help you, you know. So some of you know if you humble you say, some of you know, I tell people, say my come yard, say my come yard. Well if you send her back here damn yard. If you send her back here blinking yard. Yeah. 
Send them out of the yard, people. They were running them out. Send them out of the yard. Me got me yard now. Me got me yard. Come on, look at me yard. Me got me yard. Me got me yard. Me got me yard. Ho, just hype. Just hype and things so you forget them papers. Send them back for fun of the program and got in yard. Since you don't want to go in the yard so bad. Go in your yard, boy. Can you not pay me nothing? Especially if you're any boy there. If you're real in a real life. And the boy don't have nothing for you. Go in your yard, sir. I want to see you go on. Go up on the plane and go back to your yard. Can you not come up on the work, work program? Because some of them don't find no man. Who knows what's bad? Bad work program. No marketing, no. And then everybody find terrible money, no. And some of them find some good, decent money to come up on work program. And then they sing and all the family of Jamaica and all this. And but I don't find no demonic work program, man. Love. Love the woman bad. No found have no decent, clean wife. Uh, 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 pick me a Jamaica. No found have a decent, clean girlfriend when I rock with from high school. And you come a foreign country. No too foreign minded and think that's so a foreign go. And you go left, you have a decent woman, no foreign woman, and a foreign woman, dog, you like a drunk crow. Boy, you want to go back a yard. You don't have to go back nowhere. I didn't know to keep you and make you suffer like dog. Too enough, man. So, man, you so disrespectful. Towards the woman, the man to deal with, and the man, the man to deal with. I don't expect them to still give the papers. My backside. Right now, I see certain people. I see, you know, you may have people I know in the general. I mean, I really Jamaican, you know, so I mean, know enough people, you know, I go through them things there, you know. Know enough people who still I go through them things there, you know. I want me look for life, man. I say, me I say, no, man. I say, we, we, can't, we, we can't just sit down and expect the people to go, sir. Uh, you know, what are people? Mm -hmm. So sometimes, you know, some of the things that we are dealing with people like in America, I mean, not, not get me wrong, you know, because let me say, me understand some situations are not what you expect. You're there with the man, and you never know, so the man is a drunk crow. Miss a good, good, decent, clean people come a foreign. Meet somebody, and when they meet the person, the person do them bad, and I'm sit down with the person and work through. The worst time in your life, I have to humble themselves in the worst way. I mean, now nah, I say you're supposed to have to go through that, but sometimes I dirty the kitchen catch the rich America. The man you meet, the man or the woman. The nice you and give you everything. Come to Jamaica, come visit and everything. And when you look, as soon as that done with now, come now. Then treat you like dog. Then treat you like dog. Start to lick you. Start to deal with it like a some bug juice. Me see there's something happen, but me also see people who meet as somebody in America and then go there with a like dirty Jamaican style. What they mumma run a corner, where ever take every man. Care go there now, and they mumma the pan phone with Sheena, what's up, and tell her, take this for the boy, give it there, there, there. be like out to the boy. Only if you stop them something there. When God give you a chance and opportunity, separate yourself as a grown adult for your family. And cleave to your husband. If him good to you. No, I mean, I said that's for your family. No, that's not what I'm saying. Because some of you are going to be misinterpreting the people talking. Some of your family is in your relationship. This is why you and your man cannot work. This is why you and your woman cannot work. Your woman have no place tonight. Your parson have no place tonight. Your auntie Pookie and the whole of them run a, run a car and the river side. Now have no business in your marriage. But because the family line, when you used to in one another business, when you used to the big yard style, someone who come from big yard of Jamaica, I never grew a big yard yet. So I'm not the big yard style. Everybody look at the people that win in everybody's business and the gossip. I'm not, not, not grew up in them the kind of lifestyle there. So I have no family where they're over. And if I see your yard too much in my business, I go look for you and tell us if you mind your business. I'm an adult. I thank God for my mother because that woman is a nice, decent woman, you see, man? Principally, you see? My right said. My mother would never. Someone has something, something to me see who no do. Or someone who no, who no man who no want. Listen to me. Someone who no, who no mother want to no man right now. Because she are running all soul. And she are your man there. 
A she that we spend a corner with German. And you don't know. Mark that. Because some of the mumma they look charged and never get it. So he, he live vicariously through the data. Some of them don't live in a young life. So we don't want to call live now through the pitney. Well, go take, take away and get left to 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 get left yeah, I saw on the move. We have to be every self. We have to be every self, man. And look in at yourself. All if the man terrible, humble yourself and see where you, how you can work with the man. Because someone don't know, say, on a, on a, from the yard down the new, and I look for chance and I can't get here. If I get one chance, I look a whole man. Talk the truth, no? Because someone don't know, when you left that far, the whole man don't know a grind. Talk the truth. But the people don't know. The good of them, what they are part of they don't know. Ha! Huh. Come tell that. So if you rate the man, and if the man rates you, why you style the man thing for general? Now style the man thing. If you get a thing for the man, be real about your thing. Now style the man thing, no matter if you all whole. Because someone will lose a good man. Because he's not so young and he's not a party. And he's not the, 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 the socks and slippers story and the tight pants. So you diss up the man because you're a young girl. So you diss up the man. We have to look at ourselves. And that me a pre people. I say, no, Mr. Vani, for you come America. And since you're in America, Mr. Vani, I'm more argument more than every time you ever see Vani in an argument. And you're not even in a quiet or secret. You're the argue with landlord. You're the argue with social media personnel. People who know about immigration and know how immigration go. People can't come out and save every day they might use against you. I don't understand the mentality of these people on social media. If me is a, come on, mer and that's what I say, you know, everybody, Jamaican people are just something else. You can't take them no way. It's like the, the Jamaican thing in them just make a turn off. It turn off against them. Because we don't know when to behave ourselves. We don't know when to humble ourselves as a, as, as a culture of people. And we love hype up like say, like say, hype or keep every day. It's not keeping every day. If you hype, you hype, but you cannot hype every day, man. If you look an opportunity, man, you can look opportunity and load up the thing like that, brother. And people have a pre-day something there. And that's why no people don't give no, 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 no chance. Especially when they hear the name Jamaica coming out. And who know them further like puss? You think people have nothing good to say about Jamaican people like that? Me a Jamaican, so me know. And people love me because I owe me stay. But me have to prove myself. This is one of the terrible ones. Same way with people. Because there's a reputation what come behind Jamaican people. You see, there's a good one where they say, oh my God, they can't work so good. Them people are so good. They're good at what they do. Or the other one where they say, you're just disgusting. Hype. Terrible. I mean, no, we go through a lot in our culture. I mean, no, so the culture plays a big role in how some of we stay. But when God give you a chance now, and you come out of your material, you start understanding the knowledge of the school, and you realize, say, okay, all right, there's some things in my life where I could have really turned around my attitude because I'm angry on my life since I'm a picnic because I'm growing up poverty and that lifestyle made me angry. I don't know if you're you looking on yourself and see say, certain things make me angry, raping, molesting, all that, something that produce and breed anger in you. And so you're there with all that man, you can't even get on with the man because you're anger. From your childhood experience, I know coming at the marriage, I know you're the man that work out. The good clean man of God give you. The good clean woman of God give you. It can't work now. Baby, God can't give you nothing where your attitude can't keep you. Yes, Miss Miss McCoy. God cannot give you a man if you can't get kept. You can't keep the man mentally. You can't have a pum pum a nice and soft and nice and wet or whatever you want to call it. The sticky, icky, gicky, whatever you call it. The rather man, the nutty. And you can't rather man not to the man. But best believe me, I'm going to left you with your attitude now right after a while. Vice versa for the woman because God can't give you a blessing where your attitude cannot keep you there. That's why God will never promote some of you because you're not willing to self-examine where you have a fault. Thank God for myself. You know, I always admit how me is and I work for myself every day and God know the truth. Become aware. 
that if I don't work on me, I'll be a tyrant. I re I'm aware that I've been through some things in my life that made me extra passionate, right? However, that passion will not precede certain things. Because you can't go around and bother for people all day like you're an idiot. You understand? So you have to have wisdom with your, with your knowledge. You have to have wisdom with what you experience. You have to have wisdom in how to move now in life. And if you don't look in yourself and says, okay, you know, so the pan is an area over here, so me kind of look a bit this and that. I mean, if you go on a little bit, me kind of too in, easy to get angry or me kind of too easy to cuss people. Honey, nothing is wrong with saying your fault. God knows us. He knows us. We don't have to pretend if you're a bad word cuss, you say, all right, God, me, me, me have a really bad attitude. I mean, just love cuss bad word. And everything come out of me with a bad word. God, me a beg of the me to change the word them. So when you start work on the one and two now, you realize, say, you're not cuss bad word after every word again. All right, and it take a while to stop cuss bad word. So, you know, you, you, you work, work your way, work your way with the words now. You start pick up some words, get the knowledge past some words and say, all right, instead of me, I use the bad word for cuss you. Let me say exactly what I me mean so I me can what? express myself in the right way. So no, people can't hear you. People don't have to show you when they come and they don't have to mad at you again and say, watch you see the mad girl come there. Watch you know, see the bad old girl come there. Or watch you know, she never can't tell you nothing because you know, she has a bad people. Or, or one and such a you know, she go cuss you like a dog. You don't want to be that person. If you think so, it's cute to be that person, that even your grandpa them like you. They want their guani guani like because they have to guani guani. Who wants to live the life like that? Who wants to live the life stuck in anger? It's rest in the bosom of fools. And I got telling you nine word. You understand? Some could think about the way we move. Some of the attitude is what causes us. Look now. Look now, Vani. Vani come all the way from Jamaica with the drama. Vani the America with the drama. Big, big time. That makes sense to some of the Wallop papers? Make it make sense to me. That makes no sense. And that makes no sense. Chatters, I love you. But you know what? The only way there's any change that will happen in this world, it will be individually. And it will go on a, con a collective base when we work together as one. Individually means every man needs to look at himself, examine where they can work on something and be better. And see that it is worth being better for them. Some of you are parents and you know you need to work on your parenting skills. I'm not, a, I'm not a mother or father, but I'm telling you this. Let's see a lot of you parents. Be with your kids like dog. A lot of you talk to your kids like dog. And a lot of you shut down your kids when they need to speak. This is why your child don't like you. This is why they're angry. Because you always tell us as kids, shut up, shut up, shut up. How does that talk? Why, 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 why? Kids don't matter. So kids don't have a voice. And that's the way how most of us was raised as a child. That is a very unhealthy way of raising a child. You don't tell a child to shut up and move. Especially if that's not a rude child. They not cuss after you. They not yell after you. Kids are in an environment. And whatever you expose them to is what you expose them to. Teach your kids to communicate with you properly. That is all you got to do. When the child knows they're not supposed to be in a grown people business, right? All right. How do you talk to them about it? Do you tell them, move from your family, in your head. Tell hey boy, move. Move for you. Take the boot up. Clap him in the head back and he run, run him off. I, I, I saw some on the D with him in the pitney. I saw some on the D with him in the pitney. Dirty drunk, boy. Dirty boy, now you may talk to you. That is how I hear some of you yell at your kid. And then not only that, the bad word them on the chip. War right, war right. You see a war right, war right, clock, yeah? Dirty boy. Are you me a chat, you know? I'm going to pick up the school uniform, them. Me so me take out the dusty boots we are wearing and it. War right, war right, and war right, and war right. Let me come down the one box in your dirty face. And I saw no deal. But do what a long out go down and I don't expect for food to pit if you have knowledge of how to teach people. And when him go to school, go bully people. Who don't want to with teacher? Who don't want to cause teacher? So it starts with you. When a kid is at school doing something, I don't look at the kid. I look at the parents. What are all of these kids in? What is being done behind, behind closed doors? Because children are impressionable. And they usually don't act a certain way unless it is in the house. Someone on the left on the pity pan teacher on the too wicked. On the wicked. 
When you're not teaching the pity them, no manners and no respect because you're not know none. You're the head when I got to cuss people. You want me to tell you something? You know, no manners and respect. So, all you want your picnic. Why you they beat your picnic for the for root teacher for? Now, you teach your picnic for root teacher. So, you don't beat the picnic for now. Me want to know why you don't beat the picnic when the picnic cost my dude of a teacher. Are you teaching picnic because my dude? So, now you don't get mad at the kid for the cost of my dude of teacher. Make it make sense to me. Come on, see me, I eat that. Oh, me don't beat my picnic for my dude and me cost my dude in my house. That's abuse. Are you allow it? Yes, so many things are frustration, yes. But what I'm saying, Miss McCoy, is, is the way we go about it and we have to be able to acknowledge where we have made mistakes as parents. Many parents have made mistakes, 90%. All of us as parents have made mistakes and I'm not a parent. I'm sure my mom made mistakes. However, you never see sitting sit on a mistake. You never see sitting on a mistake and it's a living, living, living every day. Oh no, oh no, oh no. When, when, when you make that mistake, you pick back up yourself and you keep teaching your kids the right thing. You don't sit there and be like, oh, well, a mistake, so, you know, make, you can't do it. Ah, 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 ah. We know my mother made enough mistake, I'm sure, and I'm far away. But one thing me can't tell us, I never see my, my mother witness certain things in my mother. Me never see my mother cross people a road, dog people cross up a road, and I, and I drag them. Me never witness it as a child. I mean, I thought he had the old till this day, me never witness it. Me never see my mother run up in a club and drink up a kind of liquor and a kind of tour. To all they said, what me ain't doing in my life. Me never see my mother do it yet. Not even my father me say do it. Right? She never teach me none of them me say today. But yet me get up and we go do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what happened now? When they teach you the right way and I feel like life I go teach you the harder way. Because someone when I listen to the parents and the nice clean parents are telling them the good things they want to listen. So guess what now? Your backside I go feel now. But some of the parents go on like say, they not, they, they not make certain big mistakes or impact the kids so greatly. You understand? I have to know where to step in back for them. Remember some, some people bad, you know? Some people go to school, you know, Miss, Miss McCoy, and go pick up some attitude where you never teach them, you know? Some people behave, you have to bust them all in their face feet, you know? You have to know when it's the right time. My mother and my father never take stuck a beat, 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 lick down, kick down, how can I say, no, darling. My parents never take stock of the beating, even though we get beaten. Because if we don't get beaten, guess what? They must tell me why they might beat me. You can't just beat a pitney with electric wire and shoes and, and all that. Something ain't not tell the pitney why they beat them. And you're not supposed to beat a pitney person because it's abuse. Abuse. You don't you know, choke out the pitney. Hey, come here, boy. Choke out the pitney. Sit down there, so box him in the face and kick him out. Lord, that's, ab that's abuse. You don't hit your kids like that. I mean, understand about beating because trust me, maybe do beating already. If you whip up my nephew one time and give some backside lick, you see? But you would never see me lick him with certain things. You never see me lick him with my face. You never see me cross him with no wire, wire business and Tory and all that. Limitations pan things. And they used to slap a pit and give him a little slap and keep him moving. You yeah, could slap and my mother used to. Me never remember getting guy me tell and it's me never remember getting beating. Me remember, you know, me remember getting me know me get beaten, you know. But me never remember them. Me used to remember my mother used to snap for me on a church because me used to fall asleep or they suck my finger and my mother, stop, wake up, get up. You know, and then look at something there. But me not remember getting beaten. My mom is not aggressive. My father is more of the beater, but ah, my father never the beat with son. We was not that type of kid where we, we, we do and any little thing we do, we are sneak and do it, we never get catch. Pa, ma, no man, you have to know about them. Say, yeah, that's a pity you respect your parents. So you sneak out as a person, pity now. Come on now. Well, come in and say she, as a pass of picnic now, you yeah, sneak out, you know you go back in the day, you go talk truth, because you know you can't go nowhere and that uh, uh, lifestyle, but I uh, do a little thing, you never hide from mommy and daddy, you know I even make them know see I do certain things, talk truth now, who can relate to me, we wall we, 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 it and hide it, yes, can we respect with parents, till this day, certain things we do in front of my mama, you mad, my mother, me feel like a baby in front of my mother, you crazy, I don't talk to no man too. I don't want my mother to listen to no man. Hey! When I when I talk to the things, I don't need my mother to come and come to me. Listen to me, lady. Just sit down and watch my video. Them. That's all I tell you. Because <laughs> it's weird to talk certain things with your mother. Even though I can't talk any story with her. And I get me wrong with her. No. Mm -hmm. I can't tell my mother anything. Anything. Trust me. She's very trustworthy. Very relatable. Somebody I can relate to on any level. So my mom is very similar to me, but my mom, I would say, is such a more, just such an, an amazing woman, just a godly woman, and I just want to grow to be like her more.
just grow to be more like her because her ways, I didn't know until I became an adult that my mom's ways are ways that I definitely would want to mimic in my life. And have it as a part of my life because she has some good things about her that I never understood as a child. Why she's like that. I used to be so pissed and mad. Like, why? You know? But I I, I adore her now. My mom's my hero. You know? My mom's my idol. The person I aspire to be more like. Honestly. I don't aspire to be now celebrity. None of them people. I care what people. I aspire to be somebody like her. I got a whooping for my mother, but I know like them um murderers what a murderation yeah with me see some of these parents are do a true a true a true yes Isaacs it's true absolutely but me just want we talk about it a little bit there's a way if we do it man there's a way if we deal with the pitney them I may mean, I say somebody we are me I feel so we are deal brother been a computer with me now so the way when we are deal brother with people think about it Miss Hudson um we have to, we have to fence it up. I mean, not, not get me wrong. Like I said, a lot of parents make mistakes. A lot of parents make mistakes. And you only can go forward. You cannot go backward. But what I'm saying, you got to acknowledge where your mistake has made. Because some of the kids are carrying anger towards you. And you can't sit and say, look at that. I thought you got that. Lord Jesus Christ. You ever to bring up the past. And I said, someone on the ball out to the more against the pit. And if you stop them something there, brother. If that daughter or that son is hurt from the past, it is defining who they are now. You got to say you're sorry if you've done your child wrong. Stop from sitting down and cock up on your eye horse, acting like you've been the parent, the A plus parent, when you know darn well you haven't. Well, we walk every day outside the market. I mind, you know. Well, you know, see, you do the nasty attitude. And when we come home every day, beat me, and my head up every day. And you go on the most with me. So, why you the sell the market? Now, I'm not for doing me. And I'm ask if you breathe and come here and bring me here. If you want me, should I won't get rid of me. Can I make sense of get the pitney and I abuse the pitney? That makes sense? That's why some of these, these kids are, are, are damaged. They're damaged adults. They're so damaged. Grown people, they, they, they're stuck in a child, in a child state. A child mentality. They have temper tantrum for everything. When there's something go wrong, they don't know if you communicate and we talk about it without getting an idol, without work, pull out gun and knife. Oh, we don't kill a body boy. We don't kill her. And they say, ah, yeah. and they start getting mad and ah, and they start freak out. You have to say to yourself, say, Mess, 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 say, no, Jesus. Where is this anger coming from in us that we got to be irate like that? We got to. Boy, I'm going to kill you now. Yo, 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 give me a rush. Yo, 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 burn fire. Yo, yo, burn seed. Yo, yo, brother, give me a rush now, brother. Yo, I'm going to mash up my boy's face. Yo, 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 brother, I'm going to tell you. Yo, yo, I'm going to mash up my face now, brother. They're killing you. And I saw you go on. No solution, no art, brother. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to see what's going on. What happened? Talk to me about what happened. What, what me do wrong? What, what, what were you upset about? No, you can't mellow down nothing. I be eye touch. No, we don't look at crow draw. Crow, no, we not draw. And God forbid if it happen in a clock. And God forbid it happen in a court. Or happen on Barney Street, the place where everybody always together. Then I mark it. Anyway, God forbid no. So now you draw down crowd for you. And God forbid if a big yard there, they are Jamaica way. The whole of the family man crows and carrying your business now. So now in a argument and now the whole community in our business. So we have to go on better the way we treat one another, the way we communicate. Because if we not learn that, guess what? Everybody going our business and everybody are going to hate we when we meet them because we attitude not go right with the job. Your attitude not go right with the people where they, where they work for now. All of a sudden, you go to piece of job on the corner or you live in job. You're nasty with the people them. Every time something happens, you have a attitude and you're disgusting towards them and you think you don't keep the job there. And you think you don't keep the job there. Not far in here. My bone tickler. Chatters. We could have good overnight, but we have to go for real now, my, my loves. I love you. I appreciate your support. You know, we just sit and have these random talks, you know, over at Chit Chat here. But remember, if you don't have me on YouTube, please subscribe. Please, if you're here and you have not yet subscribed to me on YouTube, go to YouTube, type in Chit Chat TV, Hard Talk, Real Talk, Reality. Subscribe to me there too. Um, and join our Chatters Mob group because that's where all your content can be shared. The stuff you're doing, if you're cooking and you want to share with us anything you're doing, do so. And if you want to follow us on the gram as well, follow us on the gram because on the gram we be sharing a lot of stuff. Like a lot of stuff. So, um, I do have to run right now, but we'll talk about it later. Please, please, while you're here, share this live. 
Share with the live. Share the conversation with somebody. Share with the live and discuss with your mother. Discuss with your family about these good things. And see what they say. Come back and give a comment. And let me know what they say in the comment. How they feel about the communication. How they feel about that. You understand and let me know what you guys think. Alright, I love you and we'll talk later. Bye.